the demands of work, family, and personal responsibilities can oftentimes feel overwhelming. That's why it's important to find useful ways to reduce stress. Let's face it, we'll want to live a more balanced and fulfilling life. Here to share some ways we can do just that is Dr. Julie Kennedy from Seed Wellness. Welcome to Texas today. So nice Thank to meet you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you too. Good morning. Good morning. So before you give us some tips on how to reduce stress, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and why you decided to help people? Yeah, so I work as a functional medicine nurse practitioner, which means we use lifestyle as medicine, um, we look at root cause. Um, I also do health coaching, so really just incorporating all that lifestyle piece that helps people to stay healthy and live a very happy, fulfilling life. And I feel like nowadays we are realizing how bad stress can be for us, right? Especially with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, so how does it impact us negatively? Yeah, so stress, um, you know, I see it on a daily basis, really has a negative impact um, on people's health. Um, so chronic disease, uh, chronic inflammation that leads to chronic disease. Um, so stress has an impact on that. And the other thing that it has an impact on is it then impacts the lifestyle choices that they make. Mm -hmm. So that they don't do the things that they need to do to stay healthy. So I feel like you're treating the root of the yeah. problem and not like exactly. the symptoms. Exactly. So what can we do to not have so much stress? Um, so one of the things we can do is sleep. Right. Okay, that sounds very easy, <laughs> but we don't yes, do that. I know, I know. I work with a lot of um, what I call type A people. I feel like I attract that because I'm one myself. Um, execs, um, people that own businesses, and we talk a lot about sleep because sleep can improve the symptoms that they're having. Um, so irritability, brain fog, fatigue. Um, it also helps again with them making better lifestyle decisions. If they're really fatigued, they're not going to eat well, mm -hmm. for instance. What other things can we do? Yeah, so moving, moving our bodies every day. Um, and I like to incorporate a balance. So some endurance, some strength training, yes. yoga, Pilates, really varying our movement. That can help reduce cortisol, which is our stress, you know, number one stress hormone. Um, it also helps ground us and get us connected to body. Um, and it helps us to stay more efficient throughout the day. What about, I don't know, having fun? Yes. Maybe? I love that. <laughs> It's so true, you know, having fun and laughing and not taking everything so seriously every day is super important. And I even like to say that I schedule fun. Really? And I tell my clients that I work with that it's completely okay to schedule time to have fun. Um, this weekend I'm actually going to an event in Fort Worth, um, scheduled with my friends, something fun to do. What about quiet time? Yes, quiet time. So here's the thing, we get so busy every day, we're going all day, and that leads us to that chronic fight or flight state. Yes. Again, chronic stress, chronic cortisol. Um, so scheduling some space throughout the day can help us to come back and be more efficient, and it breaks that constant state of fight or flight. We also hear a lot about taking care of ourselves. How yes. do we do that? Yes, so this is something I'm super passionate about. Um, when my daughter was little, she's now 14, but I was like, I don't have time to spend all these hours on myself anymore. So what does this look like? Yes. You know, this is a new way of being. Um, so now I do one little thing every day. So whether it's painting my nails or nice. doing a face mask or a hair mask or something simple. And then by the end of the week, you have you've done seven different things, yes. right? So breaking it up into little small moments of self-care is super important. I like that. So can you talk to us a little bit about your um, business, Seed Wellness? Yeah, so I work as a nurse practitioner. I still can order labs and medications and things yes. like that if needed. Um, I prescribe protocols, but they're usually lifestyle related. And then I also see people in tandem as a health coach. And that's where I really say, okay, here are your goals. Okay. And here's how we get from yes. point A to point B. Yes, I love that you're fixing the root, you know, the problem, not yes. just the symptoms. Thank you so much for joining us Thank and for you, sharing Adriana. all these tips with Thank us. Thank you. Nice Appreciate to meet you. Very nice to nice meet to you. Nice to be too. here. To learn more or to schedule your visit, go online to seedwellness.co. And be sure to also follow them on Instagram at seedwellnessco.